Hey, hey, Rubies, and welcome back to Leveling Up with Cece. Now, if you're at this video, that means that you are considering or you've already started transitioning to gray. Now, Rubies, you don't wanna miss this video because I have five very important tips that will get you through your first year. If you are new to this channel, don't do anything else. Just stop and hit that subscribe right now. It literally costs you nothing, but it means absolutely everything to me. So please go ahead and do that. I'll give you a second. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so you are here to learn the basic five tips that literally are gonna get you through your first year transitioning to gray. So tip number one, Ruby, just do it. Just do it. I promise if you've already started and you keep dying it, or if you're thinking about stopping and you don't really know if you want to, I'm telling you, just do it. The hardest part of the transition is when you continue to dye it and there's that little peak of hair at the beginning that starts to come out. It's not the natural pattern that you would see if you never dyed it. So I'm telling you, if you want to transition, you love the way gray streaked hair looks, you love the way, you know, an all white hair looks, that that's beautiful, but guess what? It all didn't start that way. We all had to start at some point. So just do it is step one. Tip two. Now tip two might be the most important tip that I can share with you because it's something that I really didn't take seriously. I am not a hair connoisseur. So I didn't really, when I would see videos about what type of hair do you have, I would ignore that because I really did not understand how important it was to know the type of hair you have. And when I say type, that means is it low porosity, high porosity, or normal porosity? Now, porosity is what basically determines how your hair retains moisture. And there are very simple tests that you can do. I actually did a video about porosity and a test that I did to find out the porosity of my hair that I wish I would have done much earlier in my transition or within that first year of my transition. I think that knowing that early on would have given me a leg up to ensure that my hair was getting the care that it needed from the products that it needed. There are specific products that you use if you have normal porosity, high porosity, or low porosity hair. And if you have a low porosity hair and use a high porosity product, that doesn't mesh. As if you have high porosity hair, you use a low porosity product, that won't mesh either. So it's extremely important to do the test, which is a glass of water test. And that test will basically help you to understand what the porosity of your hair is. And then you can, from there, do searches on products for that specific type of hair. Three rubies, just as important as tip two. Moisture, 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 okay? Now, if no one has told you, gray hair is stingy and dry. It has a mind of its own, it does not listen, and it follows no rules but its own. So anything that you think that you would be doing to it, you'd have to do times two because gray hair is just that stingy. I have a lot of flyaways that I've had to really train and manage and find my way around to get rid of them, but that's one major issue that happens. Your flyaways will happen, they'll go all over the place. And when you see gray hair and it's very dry, it looks rickety and it doesn't really look great and that doesn't really build your confidence either when it when it's not moisturized or very dry so moisture 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 rubies make sure you're keeping some sort of oil or some sort of some sort of grease or just keeping it protected tied up wrapped up silk scarves silk pillowcases just lock in that moisture to retain your growth your length it's very important because your hair will break that is how damaging or how dry gray hair can be that it will break off in rubies. I know, because I've experienced a lot of breakage. I'm just really wanting you all to eliminate a lot of the mistakes I made in my first year. So just making sure that you're keeping your hair moisturized. Don't let it be too dry. Don't have it in very tight, high buns that are kind of pressing and breaking the middle of your hair because rubies, you will pay for it if you do. Tip four, rubies. Understand that yellowing is going to be a thing. Yellowing is when your gray hair doesn't really have that white or silvery pretty shimmer to it. It kind of has a dull yellow or blondish tint. And a lot of the time that comes from either heat damage or the products that we use on our hair that tend to turn the hair um, not white. It turns it a yellow color showing that it's either 
buildup on it or there's heat damage, etc. So knowing that there will be yellowing, you can go ahead and buy yourself a low porosity or high porosity purple shampoo, whatever shampoo fits your hair type, but just finding a purple shampoo. Purple shampoos will just basically take all of those yellows off of your hair and leave you with the beautiful silver that you actually want. I'm not saying that it will happen at one time at all. It definitely will probably take a few times washing depending on how yellow your hair is, but proactively using a purple shampoo or even at home remedies such as apple cider vinegar or hydrogen peroxide or ACV would be great to use to just kind of mitigate or try to eliminate any yellowing that you might be noticing during your first year transitioning. Now, my final and probably most heartfelt tip for you rubies is to understand that you have to ignore others. As human beings, there are a lot of opinions, especially about the way that you may look to someone else. Um, in my first year, I got more comments on why was I going gray? Why would I do that? People felt bad for me. Um, I already felt bad for myself and kind of felt in my transition that I had no choice. That was really my start. I had no choice. It got to the point where I was dying it every two weeks. My edges were falling out. My hair was very damaged and it just wasn't worth the stress. Sometimes I would dye it and as soon as I took the dye out of my hair, I still had gray hair. So it was kind of like I'm fighting a battle that I'm never gonna win. So for me, it wasn't solely a voluntary action to go gray. It was kind of like I raised my white flag and I just gave into it. So, you know, coming into the situation that way and having so many people's opinions about what I look like and that it's old and I'm too young to be gray and that can tend to get to you. So if, if I had to say anything to myself during that first year of transitioning, which I'm sharing to you all, it's really, really learn to love the changes that you are seeing try your hardest. It's not easy. There will be really hard days sometimes, but if you love and accept the changes, nothing that anyone else is saying is going to matter. So know that you're going to go through some rough patches in your first year. You're not going to know what to do with your hair. You're going to want to cut it off. You're going to want to dye it. But I promise if you just hold on rubies, you'll be so happy. I am at almost two years in my transition. And honestly, rubies, once I actually allowed my hair to do what it wanted to do, it didn't even go as white as I thought it was going to. And I actually want it to be whiter um, than it is. I'm heavy in the front um, and on the sides, but the rest of my hair is pretty much, you know, just salt and pepper. So just love the, the transition and the change that you're going through and know that they're probably going through it too. They're just covering it up and then making you feel bad that you're not. So I'm proud of you. If you're thinking about it, I'm proud of you for thinking about it. If you're about to do it and turn in your white flag, I'm here to support you. All of the other rubies are here to support you and we can do this together, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed those five tips. If you are new, again, please hit that subscribe and join all of the other rubies in this community here built to empower each other and to help make sure that we love and accept our changes so that we can learn and continue to move forward and then share that knowledge and experience with each other. Okay, remember rubies, do something kind today. I look forward to seeing you soon and make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know some things that you did during your first year or some things that you may have wanted someone to say to you while you were transitioning for your first year. Our rubies that are about to start, they need our help. All right, all right rubies, bye.